welcome to the 89th annual Spill.com Worst of 2011. Well, we skipped some years since the, the best of. <laughs> Starring Cyrus. Cyrus. Leon. Leon. Co-host 5000. Co-host 5000, the upgrade. The future. Yes. With George Clooney. Yes. <laughs> Brad Pitt. And that guy that played Carlton in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> Wait, what's this? I got a guy. Alfonso well. R- Ribeiro. Alf- Alfonso Rivera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Special musical guest in sync. <laughs> the reunion of in sync. <laughs> hey man, uh, they're not I just so got, in sync. Uh, what's, what's this note right here? Uh, George Clooney and Brad Pitt can't make it. What? <laughs> Damn, I was so kind of being here until they told me they would be here. <laughs> Wait a minute, in sync can't are you make sure it. It was the real Brad Pitt. I, that's or, what. Or, oh, is that that homeless dude that hangs out by your house that calls? That's what it said on Craigslist. I took him for the word for it. Well, man. we still have. We we still have a gopher from the love boat, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, and we and Betty White. Yeah, now, now that he's not the president anymore, yeah. Fred, Fred Grandy could do it. There you go. And you know what? We do have the real Alfonso Rivera. He's coming in. He's parking his car right now. Apparently, he couldn't. He didn't have enough money to get the valet. I don't know, dude. He's got a lot of cars to park out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So everybody's been begging for us to do. The worst of. <laughs> Although I must admit, the recent communiques I've gotten from our members are more like, so I guess y'all aren't going to do the worst of at this point. It's too late to hope for it, huh? You know, the thing is, <laughs> when we did the last, a Coco still had two or three, like, when you guys doing the worst of? And I'm just I'm just shocked at this point. Like, y'all still really care? All right. I, I, I keep I keep thinking that's some kind of end joke or something with right. with, the, with the spill members where they're just like, yeah, you guys are gonna do that worst of right. <laughs> I, well, you know what? See, here's the thing, man. We're giving people a reason to believe and hope. Yeah. Uh, we I like to like wait a long time, and people they <laughs> they get to that point where they think, oh, man, I was hoping for it all this time, and I guess it's just not gonna happen. And then bam, here we come. Just when they're and about to like give up and cut their wrists. Exactly. And, and, and this is uh, this is how it will translate. Whereas Alan was just like, I guess my check ain't coming from the Navy. I might as well move out. He'll hear this and go like, you know what? There's hope. There it's is hope. Home. We, I'm going to stay with Corey another six months. <laughs> you know, when people say, oh, don't say that. <laughs> I'm about to slip my wrist. <laughs> when people Put say. Put that on the worst of list. Right there, there. <laughs> there will never be peace in the Middle East. Somebody will say, but wait a minute. Spill actually did that worst of 2011 list. <laughs> yeah. Don't give up hope yet. Hey, they did make a, the Duke Nukem game finally, too. So, you know, <laughs> it happened. Anything it, is possible. It took years, but it was there. And it was awful. Yeah, you you kind of wish they'd take some more years uh, working on that. Hey, man, <laughs> maybe maybe that's, this is what the Mayans was talking about. That it's not the end of the world. It's the end of your, your limited thoughts. Okay, okay. Right. you're talking about right now, but sure, <laughs> all right. Ballin, <laughs> you just made me lose hope just then. <laughs> I, wish your, I wish your thoughts were more limited, Liam. <laughs> People, is the, I don't think 2011 was a bad year at all. I thought there were some really good movies to come out in 2011, but I have to say, for all the good movies that came out, and there were a lot, we should not criticize 2011 for being a bad year, but I do have to say that there was... No lack of bad movies. Yeah. There's never a lack of bad movies. But 2011 had a higher share of good movies than most of the years we've seen. Yeah, and yet, yeah so so good that I actually forgot to put one of them on my I list. Know, I know, same here. <laughs> yeah, oh. and that one is Driver, by the way, which would or be my drive, uh, number two. Well, I mean, sorry, yeah, Drive. Did I, what did I say, Driver? Driver. Fuck. All right, <laughs> I can't even drive. get the name right. I can't even get that goddamn name you right. Have no respect for that movie. <laughs> I, you, I love, you, I you love Drive. It. I love Drive. No, but Drive should have been on my list. Uh, it would have been number two, but there, there, there are days when it's actually number one on my list. So wow. There. It's their own record. All right. I, I, it's, this has been eating away at him for so long. Ever since we did the, the best of. He, like, the whole reason we have to do this now is so he can make that correction. Which, by the way, <laughs> yeah. uh, I should have had Pariah as my number 10 and not Eyes of March. Oh, okay. Damn I'm, it. I'm kicking myself. You know, we should all just that. do a uh, best of 2011, <laughs> like 2.0 or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, as Anything many, you'd like to add, As sir? many good movies as there were, there were five bad movies for every truly great one and that's what we're here to talk and that about. is what we're here for because first of all my list was perfect i ain't gotta go back and change my mind about anything yeah, i have right? no problem Me either yeah, thank you yeah, thank because you. you took cyrus's list and just read off <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i cheated off of him <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so much like last time <laughs> no yeah, i think we all did actually yeah. there's shit on your list i'm like god damn it how did i, I forget, forget that, that one? i know i know and i have to say cyrus is right we were just talking about how i was saying that man I did not see even half the bad movies that you guys saw. And some of them are so bad that I want to see them. I mean, 
I'm not going to mention any names right now. I'll probably will say them when you get to them because I know they have to be on people's list. But I'm looking at my list and I'm kind of jealous. I was like, man, I should have seen that bad movie because my list just doesn't seem complete without that film on there. But even though I didn't see some of the bad movies that you did, I still managed to get not 10, but at least 12 bad movies still on this list of mine. Damn. And some people are not going to agree with this. Some yeah, people, you're, I, you're probably going to have someone there. We go like, well, that wasn't great. Uh, we'll uh, see about that. Is. I know that I have one. I know that I have one. I always have to pick one that is controversial for a certain reason. But we'll get into that in a little while. Do we want to start going ahead and getting into our list right now? So. Okay. What else were we going to talk about? Yeah. Well, that's what we're here to talk. You sure you don't want to talk about the best stuff some more? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Alfonso Rivera, he hadn't got his break yet. We're still waiting on him. All right. So I'll tell you what. Well, let's go ahead and start reading off our list. Let's just get right down to it. People, I'd like to introduce a man who I'm surprised that he has a list for either uh, best stuff or worst stuff. I'm surprised he has seen any of these movies because he's usually out at the concession stand getting something to eat. People, please welcome. I, I know, man. I know. Look at it. I, it's a, that's a cheap shot. I know. People, let, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cyrus. Cyrus, ladies and gentlemen, guess. I'd like to point out that's not true because I sneak in my food. Yeah. <laughs> you learn from me, by the so, way. I'm pulling out this like, long... 12 inch sub out of my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you walk with coke? <laughs> <laughs> is that why you walk with a lip when you come into the? Theater? Oh yeah, I gotta put that shit down my leg. Man, he looks like he looks like Rambo if he was attacked by food. Not- <laughs> <laughs> if you do that, you learned it off from Corey because he will pull out a pot roast dinner right now. Yeah, but he won't. He won't even hide it. I know. He, just, he, <laughs> he won't just walk there with it. He'll hey, be in I the theater it. and call Eat Out in to deliver it. <laughs> yeah. you, always, you always know Corey's eating because you you can always hear that goddamn stuff. Styrofoam that he yeah, just exactly. managed to open up real loud and then that tin foil. Well, yeah, you'll yeah, be like, why does this whole theater smell like Dago Gabbana? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we brought the full on deal. He's got yes, his I, chips and queso going. I've taught uh, you well, Cyrus. I've taught you well enough to where you can sneak in food and still pay attention to the movies that you see. And I'm interested in seeing what your list is like right now. Well, it's funny because, like, I have a hard time delineating down to 10 so and i'm not going to read the whole list off obviously because then these guys wouldn't have anything to talk about <laughs> but right. uh i'm just going to kind of randomly pick from the list of ones that i truly hated like it's so hard to say what the worst of although i will end my list here with the the one i think deserves the most amount of shit um <laughs> and one of the ones that nonetheless had a lot of shit was human centipede 2 Oh my God, is this an absolute and complete total abortion of a film? I thought the first Human Centipede was laughable. I mean, it was one of those things. It wasn't very graphic. It mm-hmm. was all kind of in your head and it was so over the top silly that I just laughed at it. I was like, okay. I mean, it's not this is a good movie, but I was entertained in a way. Nothing you need to see twice. But then Human Centipede 2, it was like everyone was like, oh man, we want to see a sequel. And he's like, yeah, the director Tom, what is his name? Tom Mix or something? I don't even remember Tom what his Mix, name was. Cowboy? It's, it's something Mix, I forget. Tom okay. might as well be a something. cowboy. That motherfucker's always wearing a cowboy yeah, hat. Yeah, he's always wearing a cowboy yeah. hat. But uh, yeah, and he's German, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, German cowboy. Or yeah. something. He's from the part of the world that there were definitely Nazis. But uh, <laughs> that way they make shies of video. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, he goes, all right, so now I got money. Everybody love that. I'm going to make Human Centipede 2 all about the stuff I couldn't do the first time where I actually show you all the grisly details and bad call brother nobody wants to see that shit literally didn't he pull like a Blair Witch 2 with that movie as far as I never saw Blair Witch 2 so he kind of no uh -uh. oh Uh, well neither did did I but I I don't understand the premise yeah Yeah, that Uh, should be on the list today like like that like that's a movie that's so bad it should be on the list every year I mean that's that's where it was kind of meta in a way uh, uh, I mean, it is because like the first movie, like uh, like the credits of the first movie are the beginning of this film. And it's a guy watching the movie like Human Centipede and going, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to do this myself and make my own. This guy who's a psych, complete psycho, well, naturally, and kind of mentally retarded, this huge, disgusting fat dude who never speaks a word of dialogue in the entire film. And like he's basically abducting all these people and he wants to do a super long one because originally it was just three. This is like I think it's like 12 or it was something. Two, it was three humans in the, in the Human Centipede. So so now, he's mouth. now he's making like a human millipede or something. Yeah, pretty right? much. Yeah. yeah, well, it'd still be a centipede. Yeah, I know. I'm, you know. Just, I'm just saying that's his goals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's got one. aspirations. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 
and, and it's just it's just too much. I mean, they're like the last one. You like you know they're shitting in each other's mouths, but you can't see it. In this one, you see it. Sorry, you see like yeah. shit coming out from among between the stitches that are uh. attached to their ass, and you see a pregnant woman baby get you know giving birth while she's in this situation. Are, are you sure Tim and Eric didn't make this I, movie? Uh, <laughs> did I wish there was something I could find funny about the, the well the Sorry, fair, there's nothing. Funny but there can never there. be enough ass to mouth though, right? <laughs> Ooh, Kevin Smith after you was see a... this, <laughs> after you see this, you won't even be able to say those all words. Right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all right, so let's move on from that because that's enough that ever needs to be said about Human Centipede Two. Uh, the next thing I'm going to bring up is something that's just it's just a gimme. It's the Twilight sa- Saga: Breaking Dawn Part One. Because yeah. let's face it, it I think it's easily the worst of the entire series. Yeah. I mean, some people go, oh, but didn't you think it was hysterical? All that shit with like him imprinting on the sorry, spoiler, imprinting on on the vampire baby. I was like. You mean that shit that happened in the last five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where the whole rest of the movie was like watching the Lifetime Network wedding special? Hey, don't worry, that, that's more stupid than it is a spoiler. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 the whole time you watch that movie, you can imagine the director, his the one direction he gave everybody was, stretch it out, stretch it out, just yeah. keep it going. Mm. yeah absolutely it's just there's no the other films have a certain amount of at least like at least something's gonna happen again at some point even if it's just to laugh at you know like the whole jacob being whiny and picking off a shirt unnecessarily and <laughs> yeah. whatever all these various things that are so ridiculous you're like okay at least i can like you know we could all chuckle there's nothing to even chuckle about in this one it's just fucking boring all right <laughs> you know yeah. what's next and pros and pro uh spousal abuse for the record is it I, come on man i forgot about it yeah. he like <laughs> Like has sex with her so hard she's like got broken bones and is black and bruised <laughs> and and then later the next day she's like no no don't be upset it was my fault I was about to say that's a bad thing I was gonna say that's, a, that's that's often a fantasy some chick you so hot for you like man I wrecked that chick hey, I, 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 she married yeah, a vampire literally. she brought yeah. that shit on herself yeah. Yeah. in the context you are correct but to the mind of a thirteen year old girl I suspect perhaps there's something else going on there uh, you know these we, thirteen year olds today they're so cool. <laughs> they are I know right they're used to that shit shit yeah. ain't sex unless I break some ribs. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, moving on. Bucky Larson. I mean, a lot of people talk about how bad Jack and Jill was, and certainly it's, uh, you know, one of the worst movies of the year, but Bucky Larson makes Jack and Jill look like Citizen Kane to me. It was just repulsive. There's nothing funny about that movie, and it was just one big gross-out joke after another. And if that wasn't enough, after every critic in the world said, yeah, this movie sucks, Dick Swardson and company come out and go, no, you guys just don't understand comedy. <laughs> just start yeah, I'm even that. You. Shit. <laughs> hey, man, hey, I but, applaud them for that. I, that's I know, the excuse what, what, I would use. I use that excuse say? every day. Yeah, <laughs> you just don't understand my comedy. <laughs> You're the stupid one. Yeah, <laughs> you need to go and, to comedy college. And Kevin yeah. Nealon had one really funny line in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. Uh, right. You see, you saying that, Leon? I'm going to go see it now. You know, it, you know like, I, I, I guess for me with Bucky Larson, it was like it was just so pathetic that. I couldn't get mad. I just felt sorry for the movie. Like, like yeah. cause in the beginning, I was like, all right, it's got a terrible beginning, but this could pick up. I can see where this could pick up. And at that point where it could have, it just didn't. And it's just kind of lame from there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and nothing ever happened that was worthy of note. Yeah, Kevin Nealon said something, one thing yeah, funny. It was, it was, but it was really funny. That we're like, <laughs> I laughed about it like long after I left the theater. It's like, that cracked me up. All right. <laughs> you might want to speed up through your list because sorry, if you go sorry, with I'll the detail going. for every one of them, it'll be all Spy Kids 4D night. all the time in the world. Wow. Oh. The movie that made the rest of the Spy Kids movies look good. That's just an, an inex- That's just if you ever needed evidence that Rob Rodriguez does not give a fuck there you go that is all you need because there is no excuse if you like spy kids for okay you're either mentally retarded which sorry apologize if that's the wrong word but what do you care you're mentally retarded uh hey you <laughs> or, or you just have absolutely no taste you're just you have no idea what the hell how what makes a film and what doesn't that's a film that's so far in the direction of being just completely incompetent I don't know what the hell's wrong with you if you like it. What uh, if uh, Jessica Alba was just hot in it? She not wasn't. Enough. You gave it a rental. Mm, not enough. <laughs> like, like I did. <laughs> uh, I didn't. <laughs> uh, Meek's cut off. Man, all the fucking pretentious motherfuckers calling this movie good. <laughs> Nothing goddamn happened in this fucking movie. I don't know, man. I read a lot of good reviews. Sound like you and Coles just didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> like you didn't get Bucket Larson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> whatever, whatever there is to get, I'm glad somebody got it because I did it. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't me. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> I tell you, that movie is just people fucking like dirty people in the dust 
doing nothing for two hours in the old west. It's like if Leon got lost out of the goddamn desert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> film that shit because I don't care. <laughs> Damn. Seriously, man, I thought we were friends. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> you. <laughs> Wouldn't give me any water or anything? No, don't care. Well, my number one bad one, and this is because, I mean, there's all these things about it that are horrible, but really when you put on top about it, the sheer amount of money was involved, the amount that the people who made it keep defending its supposedly pro-woman message when it's anything but, it's Sucker Punch. It's an utter yeah. inexcusable piece of shit shit that if they hadn't been so proud of it and so loud about how everyone is wrong then i wouldn't have even cared as much but it's just a terrible terrible movie so yeah, yeah that's my list that's it that's, yeah, it? that's it that was oh. like five well i know because i gotta save room for these guys so i'm not okay. gonna name all oh, the ones. Yeah, okay i thought we were i could keep go- i could keep just going them off. yeah well, no, no, but let's stop the other five yeah. well I, did i only list five yeah yeah, I thought. Oh, really? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you, I don't know. I wasn't paying yeah, I attention. Long ass list. We don't want to be here all night. You got lost in your own list. All right, all right. In fact, it, what, what I would say is we should probably do it like we did with the best of, yeah. where you read off your list and then we have a, right, uh, okay. then we have a conversation right, so, about the list. Uh, New Year's Eve, totally fucking awful. The worst yet of those sort of. Here's a huge amount of actors together, like on the screen, all their own stories, and you don't give a shit about any of them. Just absolutely fucking terrible. Um, I, a lot of people are going to get mad at me, but I hated Red State, Kevin Smith's film. It made me mad. I was like, all this about this garbage? I mean, it's like the biggest, like, like him like, look, I, you know, I know I'm a Christian, but I'm going to say something negative about Christianity here. It's like, you mean about the same thing that almost every Christian agrees about that's negative? <laughs> like crazy cult leaders who live out in the desert and tell people Jesus is telling them to prepare for the apocalypse? How brave of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's what just, else you got? It's just useless. It's like it's pretentious. Um uh beastly. Come on. Mm. That is just a waste of time, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, what is there to say about that? That's a uh, Beauty and the Beast for the Twilight set. I mean, I I was stuck between that and Red uh Red Riding Hood uh because they're both the same. They both they, they are. They're both yeah. the exact yeah. same thing, really. They're both trashy. There's nothing good to say about e- either one of them. Um Atlas Shrugged Part 1. Come on, man. That's an utter waste of time. I mean, even if I love Dan Rand's writings, that movie is fucking boring as shit. Did you get to see that one, Corey? I did not. I think I may have been the only one who saw that. No, I saw it. Did you? Saw it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I, I've never had so much trouble staying awake in a film. <laughs> There's nothing worth getting. Where am I at now? Am I at like eight or nine? You, okay, something? you know what? That's I'm good. done. All that's right. Good. So move good. on. I'm yeah, I don't, I don't good list. Yeah. So, Leon. All right, people. All right. We have, we have a man here whose best of list is usually everybody's worst of list. Leon, ladies and gentlemen, don't think you don't think that's true? true? Well, let, let's put that to the test then and see what you got right here. Then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you talking down, my man. Lee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm dying to this list, by the way. Oh, you my sorry. It should make me feel yes. better. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save my worst two for last. Okay. Uh, all the others just kind of go in there any kind of way, but. Uh, I didn't see Jack and Jill because it, it sounds to me like that movie would have definitely have been on my list because when South Park did a, you know, did their own animated version of it, I thought it was a parody. I'm like, man, they got this Adam Sandler formula down so much, they cracking me up. Well, Just Leon, up with a movie well, that, well, you know, put that on your list. I was about to say, down. well, what about what is on your list? Right. <laughs> but, but he did also make the movie go with it in that same year. So that's that's definitely on my list. Uh, oh and, yeah, just go with it. That was awful. Yeah, man. yeah, it, 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 absolutely. And it had, had your had your boy Nick Swartzen in Ugh, it. Yeah, fuck that uh, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Mars needs moms. God damn. Mm. I mean, sure. Sometimes the CGI movies are gonna be down, but this is the worst. Uh, Red Riding Hood. That that's on my list. Your Highness, Atlas Shrug Part One, uh, Spy Kids. Uh, but how many how many have I named so far? Dang, you don't have a number. What, what, you, what, what, is, what, y'all not number these things? The, no, I don't. I just have. A, this is the worst of the well, worst of this. I mean, I just, Jesus, what's good. going on here? Good. How about every time you you mention one, I'll hit you on the head. Okay. <laughs> uh, sucker punch, of course. But coming down to the worst of the worst would be Hoodwink Two. Hoods versus evil because that I mean the, the animation on none of the, on either of the Hoodwinks is not that great. But with the first one, it was so surprisingly funny. And here it was like, wow, this is everything I was afraid that first one was going to be, mm-hmm. except worse. I remember the uh, first, the first Hoodwinked is a low budget CG animated movie by, by the by the Weinstein Company, right. and it's actually based on. I remember it as a kid. That movie was 
No, what? Not, Hoodwinks. You're That's the one about the nursery else. rhymes. So I'm thinking about something else. They yeah, they, yeah. they 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 released another movie that was based on a British show back in the day. Like, well, Dougal? Dougal, yeah. Dougal was the worst. Oh, like wow. that was like the first animated movie that I could not stand. So Hoodwinked was kind of it, it was it was almost like a low budget Shrek that worked. Yeah. And but Dougal came out a few years later, and that was they said that movie was an abortion, and now Hoodwink Two is on the level of of Dougal. Oh, absolutely. Wow. Well, that's it's, too bad. That's too bad. Hoodwinked. I loved Hoodwinked. Yeah, me too. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, and, and I watched it over. Leon and, and I were and, both and, excited about seeing Hoodwinked too because yeah, we, yeah. we liked the first yeah. one so much. And then it's just it's so awful. Yeah. I never saw it. So because I heard you, I heard your review, and I was just like, man, you know what? I just better leave. They it didn't even try. It's yeah. just that. Well, but like the way they tried was just with those kind of lame jokes that you expect that somebody would do who had no talent but just wanted to shove a bunch of jokes in something and get it going and you're like guys back off just, just yeah, it stop. looks so cheap too yeah it did it, it's funny because it had more money behind it and yet it looked cheaper so yeah. what's your, your your other one uh oh uh the the other movie that i two movies uh the, at the absolute worst one i walked out of which was zookeeper which I, I hated more yeah. than even just go with it. I'm I just applaud like, you for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kevin James and the whole you know romantic subplot with him and Rosario Dawson. I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I've sat through the Pratt Falls. I've th- sat through the fart and the shit jokes and the talking gorilla. Yeah, but now you're messing but with this... the, my woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you have crossed the line, sir. sir. <laughs> there is only so much bullshit I, I will buy in one day. I'm like, you wow. Reach the limit of that. All I thought was, man, will Rosar- Rosario Dawson ever get a fucking break? <laughs> I, know. <laughs> oh, I know, man. I yeah, she's dipped in the last few years. Oh, boy. yeah, she has. Well. So what's yeah. on your number one? What's the what's the other one you? Oh, were... my, my my number one is something borrowed, which I I would. I, to me, I'm like, not only is that a worst stuff, and I know it won't be on everybody's worst stuff, but that movie pissed me off beyond belief. Who's in that? That's the one with uh, with uh, Kate uh, Jennifer Godwin and uh, and, and Kate Hudson, where Jennifer oh, is Jennifer Goodwin, where she's the one who's uh, she's in love with her best friend, oh, but then she yeah, yeah. she lets uh, Kate Hudson, her best friend, steal him away and pines for him, and you're supposed to root for this girl. And, and John tries... Krasinski's in it. That's the movie where you're hoping that he's finally going to catch a movie break, where yeah. he's going to be nope. uh, he's going to be a film actor, and yet nope. he's in another shitty movie. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> but, I mean, all the characters are just completely self-centered, shallow, and I can watch a movie like that as long as they're honest about it. Yeah. You know, Horrible Bosses was hilarious, mm-hmm. but something like this, where the movie wanted to be honest about what these characters are about and trying to get you to be on their side and go see, and then and then at the end when they, they just like like wait, okay, you, you're not completely on Jennifer, I mean Jennifer Godwin's side. Well, what if Kate Hudson does this thing that's absolutely fucking evil and out of character? You're like, wow, you know what? Fuck this piece of shit. Yeah, that was yeah. the worst romantic comedy Man. of the year. Yeah, it, it was just uh, I found it offensive. What was that movie called again? <laughs> Something borrowed. All right, I'm gonna put that. Ra- I'm gonna put that on my list. Right now. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. You got and, a pen? And think about Atlas Shrugged. Yeah, it's 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 on my list because it was another one of those where I'm like. I can't get mad at this because it's just something kind of pathetic about it. The way it just keeps going. It felt like a TV movie that didn't know when to take breaks for commercials. Yeah. I was. I know a lot of people have wanted a, a film version of some of Anne Rand's work, especially Atlas Shrugged. Yeah. And when somebody said there was a movie of that, I was like, so when is it coming out? They're like, brother, it's out today. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, Atlas Shrugged, they made a movie out of it? And that's because the movie was made very cheap. Oh, and it, I, it, it How was like that movie of, funded? It and, feels like one of those Kirk Cameron movies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that movie was funded by some like, sort like of like special Ant-Man interest society. group. And yet it actually, <laughs> as far as I've heard, it actually lost money, which Hell is yeah. which is funny because they're like, they did announce recently, oh no, we're making part two, which is so against Anne Rand. Like Anne Rand, if she's around, would say, no, the first one didn't make any money. Did you not <laughs> Listen to anything I said. You know what? <laughs> Maybe it was funded by Bioshock. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, you find you finally got that Bioshock movie, didn't you? <laughs> it, it ain't underwater, and it's actually called Atlas Shrug, but it's the same thing. We stole it from her, so it's come it's come full circle. Yeah, and, but, and I I didn't bother to mention Transformers Dark Dark of the Moon. I mean, yeah, that's one of my worst stuff movies, but I don't know. As much as I hated that movie, all these other movies I saw, I hated even more. Oh yeah, no, okay. it was on my. Okay, I hated it, but not even come, not even comp- you know, compared to all these others. Yeah, yeah it was just forgettable. <laughs> what about right. co-host? Yeah, you what know, did you hate, ladies and gentlemen? I like to introduce not a man but a machine. 
I had something smart ass and snarky to say about him, but right now I'm just going to say I hope he has some organizational skills <laughs> and that his list is actually in some sort of order. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the co host 3,000. Oh, I'm sorry. The co host 5,000. That is right. 5,000. Let me be here to prove you wrong. First off, let me tell you my life story. Anyway, I started this site. <laughs> Come with co host if you want to live. <laughs> no, I, okay. I, I do have my shit together for the first time, shockingly, for the worst of which I want to get was not prepared for we shall but, see uh, all right let's see here I, I i have my list i have a number and i'll just go down take me home tonight yeah i wish somebody would take me fucking <laughs> wow. home after watching that goddamn movie because that was that was the worst was piece of shit starring topher grace that i have seen in a long time where that movie you could tell that movie was shelved because michael bean looked like he was about 10 years younger and i think he came out in another movie and he looked like the emperor from star wars and i was just like whoa okay so when was this movie actually filmed in yeah. it had that one well, Bad had, dude. Had Chris Pratt from uh, Parks and Rec. I can't. He looked like a teenager in there. Oh yeah, yeah. But it had that one fat dude that's trying to be like Chris Farley, the 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 guy who, oh, who was oh, in Dan the fucking. Oh, Dan Fogler. Yeah, Dan, oh. yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's, now that's the thing about that movie. That's how you know it was shelf because that movie was made when they were trying to push Dan Fogler. When people thought that Dan Fogler was going to be the next, he was going to be mm -hmm. he's going to be the next Bla uh, Jack Black. So, yeah. yeah. Every time you see him, wow. you're like, wow, you like the C list Jack Black. Well, yeah. you know what? Somebody no did. Thanks. Somebody yeah. did push even, that even guy. Even the A list. Jack Black isn't always wanted. <laughs> you know, you know, somebody did push that guy out of somebody's asshole because, man, that guy stinks. But uh, yeah, um, next we have uh, Mars. Mars needs moms, which you know, Mars needs some fucking better movies. Uh, I'll give it that. Yeah, that was just, yeah, that just was boring and uninteresting. Yeah. And uh, once again. I think it had that same fucking fat dude in it, the Dan Foley guy. It yeah, did. It, it, it did. He was just as annoying animated as he is in real life. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, wow. it, that's that's an accomplishment in animation. I, you know, hey, I'm I, give, I give you props for that at least. Between him and Kevin James and me, you just got something against fat people. <laughs> 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 now, don't go say, don't, don't go spreading rumors now. Hold on, You're, don't hold go talking on. crazy. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain in more detail true. after I eat my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next I have, uh, you know, you guys already said these, Red Riding Hood and Twilight. You know, both are pretty much okay. Look, Did Red, Red Riding, Riding Hood, Hood, Twilight, and Beastly, which. All of those three movies are as about you know is about as shitty as you can get with these preteen bullshit, the shit that you know Hot Topic basically shits out on the weekend, <laughs> and uh, you know and you know we've already said everything there is to say about that. Those movies stink, all right. Well, I know they're not directed towards me, but you know for these girls, I look forward to meeting them in the strip clubs who they are targeted for, and I, I look forward to get throwing, even, throwing change at them. You know, I think Red Riding Hood is the is the worst out of those. Just personally, mm -hmm. Beastly deserves extra. A negative points because you had Vanessa Hudgens and didn't bother to like take her clothes off. And at that's all. Yeah. and that is the one and that is the one thing that I wanted to point out about BC Lee's is that wow you know if anybody broke my heart it was Vanessa Hudgens for not only starring in that piece of shit but then the later go on and do more shit with Sucker Punch which is on my list <laughs> right, yeah. Sucker Punch and then that fucking uh, J Journey to Shit movie um, yeah. <laughs> You broke my fucking heart, Vanessa. You failed me for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I am done with you. Uh, now I'm all about. Victoria From what I hear, Justice. she actually likes being choked, though. So. Oh, does she? Oh well. Where'd you hear that? That's my new girl. That's my new girl. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Because <laughs> she's victorious, Leon. You're like, right. <laughs> you're like Seth Rogen in Pineapple Express. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. All right. So going up the list here. All right. Uh, next we have. Got rid of all that bullshit. Oh, Transformers. Because you know what? Transformers Dark of the of the whatever the oh, fuck the that shit came. In yeah, the crack in my <laughs> ass. Yeah. That movie. Fuck that movie. Because number one, it destroys the entire mythology of Transformers. The reason why I gave a shit about Transformers in the first place. Anytime where you have a movie where the main fucking hero, Optimus Prime, decides to hide in a birthday cake and let the Decepticons kill every motherfucker in Chicago, <laughs> only to go out, surprise, we actually didn't leave. We just wanted to teach you assholes a lesson. Right. You know, yeah. uh, fuck that movie. And fuck Michael Bay and fuck those writers for doing the that. That is atrocious. Cause Corey likes that movie. I did not. Say, 
Fuck you! You know what? <laughs> I will not disrupt your. your you life. like that movie? Boy? I will not. Dis- <laughs> See, he's you falling into what he's trying I'm to do in here. My ass. You're like, man, you gotta admit those action scenes in Chicago, they were pretty good. Oh this my is God. like Corey just fell into the dark of the Transformers ass, but you know, hey, Cyrus, this is a smear campaign. Please don't it, 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 ignore this. Yeah, don't don't yeah. fall. Hey, that oh, movie word. smeared shit all over my face. Too. Yes, <laughs> Carlos, please don't fall yes. for this ploy the right next, here. Keep uh, going. Please. That movie made Leonard Nimoy its bitch. Made him repeat lines from. Star Trek. I, I, More I, I, like the Blowbots. Yes. <laughs> yes, I hear you guys, but this is all about the co-host, right? Yes, Please it continue. Is. I would rather see the Blowbots in action um, <laughs> right now. But, uh, the Blowbots. Next, yeah, next, next we have... Uh, speaking of Blowbots, uh, Cars 2, which should have been oh, called Blowbots. Yeah. yeah. Get that Cars one? 2, which was the biggest oh, yes. hunk of, of fucking skittled colored shit right. I have ever seen on the movie screen. And, wow. you know, and the saddest part is that it, it has the stamp of Pixar on it. Not only is it the stamp, but the motherfucker who, I guess, invented Pixar, who's all about it, that is his passion project. And at that point, you know, you know what? There's things I'm passionate about, like, you know, old ladies fucking old guys. And you know what? I keep that shit to myself. And that You're that, passionate that, about old people sex? Yeah, because after, you know, old people need love too, dude. I, I agree with but that. Yeah. We all going to be there. Yeah. I want to keep that alive. We're all going to be. You might as well start training now as, this as far is, as enjoying that this shit. This is a gentle <laughs> side of co-host that was previously <laughs> unknown. I like the way you it's think, man. I mean, I, I, hey. you know what? I want to disrupt you here. I like that train of thought, man. Mm-hmm. People need to start watching senior citizen sex to be prepared to do it themselves when one day, cause you yeah. just like watching naked old woman. I Come do. On. I'm used to it. Shit, big used to. I've been trying to tell y'all for the longest time. Now that you're getting up there, you know what I'm talking about. Exactly. <laughs> the, the beauty of Cars 2 is that when Corey and I saw it, there's a point when we went out to concession stand to quickly grab some popcorn, and we just kind of stood out there just talking for about 15 minutes, mm-hmm. walked back in, and realized we hadn't missed Didn't anything. miss a goddamn oh, thing. No, I left no. because I couldn't take it anymore. No. I was just like, I, this, I'm really... Pixar, this is sad. It this is, is sad. just sad, and I can't. I, I don't want to be a witness to this whole thing right, right. here. I know. Yeah. I was like, wow. That thing in there. That's yeah. not Pixar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People yeah. walking in the theater, you're like, oh, you going to see Cars too? I hope your insurance is comprehensive. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is a total wreck. That's like somebody telling me. I'm gonna, when Pixar did that, that was like somebody telling me, oh, we're gonna. We're gonna invite you in to watch this great Broadway play, and they open up the curtain, and it's an execution, and it's like it's and it's the most horrible thing I've ever seen on the screen. And I mean, it's and I was easy on that movie, but I'll get to that why why it's still on a list of mine when I get to mine. Go ahead. Go and ahead. all right, well, you know, as as shitty as Cars Two was, uh, what was even worse was Meek's fucking cutoff. Oh, which, I'm so yeah, happy that was they, on your list. They too. They, they need to, yeah, they need to cut off that fucking director from making movies ever again. You know, I'm like, wow. After watching, I was like, why can't I fucking be a director? Why can't I go out to the goddamn desert and just fucking push record, leave a camera there for two hours, come back to Hollywood and sell that shit and and have critics just fucking love and adore that film? Because you know that's the first time I walked out of a movie theater where I wanted to pull some goddamn Arkham Asylum Batman combo moves on all the goddamn reviewers that came out with their nose up in the air going that is the most intriguing most wonderful most eye-opening film i have ever seen in my entire life and i was like wow i just felt like somebody just took a big dump in my fucking eye sockets i mean wow there was no story um michelle williams for the first time in her career, she decides not to get naked or and, and have like a crazy ass sex scene, and the movie suffers from it because wow, there is absolutely nothing. It's it's the longest fucking wagon trip you'll ever be. I on. know it's I, like my decade with Marilyn. I, 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 it really I, was, I admit, man. I I love that movie. What? Mix cut off? Mix cut off? Do you really? Your fucking uh, I've, I've never right. seen it. Don't oh, get me wrong. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> but, 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 but I remember talking to you guys when you came out of it, and you, I was so entertained. <laughs> I was pissed off. Yeah, oh comes up God. to me after. He's like, all serious. He's like, so what did you think of it? I was like, oh, I fucking hated it. And he's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought I was in the goddamn Twilight Zone meets Bizarro World where I'm like, okay, wow. Really? I, 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 need, I need to quit my fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> um, and last but not least, Zookeeper. And all I have to say is, thank you. <laughs> go fuck yourself, Kevin James. Already, go fuck yourself. Don't Sam yeah. too. Yeah, stop fucking me and come. Hey, 
You at, keep Adam out of this. Right? Too. Hey, hey, you know what? He produced. I, actually, I, I hey, can't tell the difference between both of them. Yeah, hey, you know, <laughs> I understand why Adam Sandler keeps that motherfucker there because you always want to. You always want to tell people, hey, at least I'm not that fucking guy, right? <laughs> yeah, so, but they like, are the same guy. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> even Adam Sandler's hilarious. Even if that was Adam Sandler, even if that was true, even if that was true, it's like he picked the very bottom of the barrel guy to say, at least I'm better than that guy. It's like, yeah, but you still suck. Yeah. No. <laughs> and you keep bringing them around when we invite you to shit. Exactly. I, I yeah. will I will say, the, I mean, I, I actually applaud like, you for leaving, but that was the biggest endurance test, like sitting there, like boiling, like like my fucking lid. I mean, my shit, my shit looked like my popcorn was coming out of the side See, of my head. So we couldn't tell because you were laughing yeah. so much during that movie. And it, that was the, only, that was the only, you know, that's that's one of those things, like that, that that's like the scene from fucking Clockwork Orange where they have your eyes open. And, and, the, and every time Adam Sandler came in with that movie, monkey voice uh, doing his bit that was like somebody putting teardrops in my eyes that was soothing that helped me get through the pain of that fucking movie but uh, you know but yeah go fuck yourself Kevin James you know talent all right no talent hack but uh. anyway that is my list ladies and gentlemen I'm done thank you very much Woo. I'm getting out of here that was awesome all right all right Woo. all right all right all right so I'm gonna go on with my list right now and I'm going to go in order of number 10 to number one and in my mind, as I think about these films, they keep changing places. It's almost like just watching a mask that just keeps writhing and, you know, forming different it's things. like shit in a toilet bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, like watching a, it's like watching a can something. of worms or something. Yeah. You know, just wiggling all the time. Some of the turds go down and some yeah. of them just Some of them right stay, yeah, some of them are floaters, you know. <laughs> some of them stay there. Al Pacino's wall and the devil's advocate. It's just uh, writhing. And, yeah, it's just <laughs> writhing and moving. It's like it's just a slimy, big, rhythming mass of shit. And I, they... they all of these movies, to a certain degree, I have to give them credit for something. I mean, at least they all have something unique about them that makes them as shitty as they are. They've done something that's different from another movie that that says, "Wow, you were shitty, but you were shitty in your own way." And let's start with let's start with number ten, which is just go with it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> just go with it. If that was the pinnacle for me of where I finally realized. And this made me angry about Adam Sandler. This is the one with Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. And I don't even remember the plot of that film. I know he wants to get with Brooklyn Decker. and Oh, but 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 Jennifer Aniston is his friend. And he realizes that who he's... That's, he's the, who's She's his re- employee, isn't she? Something like that. You know what? I don't give a fuck because yeah. this is why I really realized. I was like, wait a minute. In every Saturday, Adam Sandler movie, they go to some exotic location. There's, yeah. been, two, there's been two cruise ships in these movies. This is a fucking tax write off for a vacation oh, yeah. for him yep. and his friends. Yep. It dawned on me right then and there, like this fucking asshole, and man. It's so blatant now that his films are literally exhortations to his audience. Yeah, like the title of it is like, come on, just go with it. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, wow, you are an enormous <laughs> prick. What in the fuck, and man? I, and six and, movies gonna be like, you know, it's kind of funny. He right. calls, <laughs> I'm like you, man. Just laugh a little. I want to like Adam Sandler, but god damn it, you will understand. Why I just have to give up hope on this guy after I'm done with this list. Hey, that's all right. There's a lot of my friends that you don't like. I, 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 I'm used to it. This will be the one. Now, You're this the is the only tonight. person left on the earth who doesn't have some Sandler in their vagina at this point. Because <laughs> he has just irritated the whole world except go up. You, by the end of this, Carlos, by the end of this list, if you don't come around by the end of this list, that's, that's no help for you, my friend. <laughs> you lost. I can't uh, do anything for you. Uh, you know, I've been told I'm a natural born loser, so <laughs> <laughs> might as well go with it. <laughs> Let's go to number nine, which is Something Borrowed. And we've already said this over and over again, but this is a movie with some of the most annoying characters because they're all privileged people who are some of the most shallow, w- worthless people because we have two women in this movie. We have who are the, uh, who, Jennifer Goodwin and Kate Hudson. And why are they even friends? Yeah, yeah. Yes. They are the... Yeah, you know, you, that friendship makes no yeah. sense. One, been one has no personality. That. The other's a complete bitch who just takes advantage of this girl. There's nothing in common between these people. And there, and that goes for every character in the movie. These characters are so shallow, they have to make up problems. Stupid problems that everybody else that's watching the movie is like, wow, it would be so easy to take care of this. If you just talked about it, it's not even a whole conversation. Just one fucking sentence. I mean, or, or 
Don't hang out with her. <laughs> it's, it's, it's as simple as that, too. Get some new that friends, too. Bitch. Get some new friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what? God damn it. What's that girl's name again? Jennifer Goodwin. Jen- no, no, the other one. Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson, man. She's, she's the one that really brings this movie down. There's no reason why anybody would be friends with that bitch much less her best friend yeah. it's just the it's a movie that is so annoying and once again i feel so bad for john krasinski because i really love this guy he's likable in the movie but it, actually no this is the Not movie that made movie. john krasinski unlikable yeah nobody in this film is likable. oh my yeah, god yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Right. if he, it was a cynical comedy like where it was like like you were trying to say earlier if it was one of those things like haha all these people are lame and it's you know it's seinfeldian if yeah. you will sure that would have been fine but no the film thinks it's a regular romantic comedy to appeal to woman it couldn't be more misogynist i know there's you know? a saving grace for characters like this in a movie it's misanthropic yeah. yeah yeah no for characters like these <clears throat> There's either there's either some depth to them in the movie later on where you say, wow, they really are a decent person, or they're funny. These people are none of the above. It so. would it would have made more sense if that Jennifer Chick just wanted to fuck Kate Hudson's character. That's all. That's, that's, <laughs> right. that's the only reason. Yes, only it would have. Why, you know, yeah. you know, like, yeah. you're blinded by pussy just like the rest of us. Yes, all right. <laughs> yeah, no. It, you know what else would have been good about mm. this movie had it not existed? So anyway, <laughs> that would have been an improvement. Yes. Let's go ahead and go to number eight. This isn't going to be any surprise i'm not going to even dwell on it what's the last twilight movie uh breaking dawn, Bre- breaking dawn. Yeah. yeah yeah breaking dawn what am i going to tell you it's 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 easily the one where <laughs> if you were somebody like me where you said hey the first twilight movie is a that's that it, it's for girls it's it's yeah. it's it's a matinee whatever and you're the person i've been yeah, telling me. you <laughs> gave it a matinee wow. you you know what this is the one where you win you got me you know I'm, oh I, i'm awake now <laughs> you know i see shitty film all right oh that's what you meant okay i i understand now i, I took the the blue pill or whichever one morpheus gave to me and i woke up it, yeah it's a, it's this is the one this this truly is the movie where it's the if you didn't think that this was a bad series before, you want to give it credit. This is the culmination of everything that's wrong that everybody saw before in this particular movie right here. This is a this is one the, this is the worst thing about the movie. This is what really pissed me off and said, "Well, I probably even would have said, you know what? I'm the softest out of you guys. I'm gonna give it. I'm just gonna let it slide by a rental." But the fact that they said, "You know what? That Harry Potter boy got a whole lot of money. You know he did that by splitting that last movie up." Yep. They took a conscious business decision to split that last book into two movies and where Harry Potter was jam packed with material. where They say, oh, my God, we can't fit this in one film. This is too much Potter for one movie. Breaking Dawn. To my chagrin. That fits in half a book. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like but that, that's the for what I understand that 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 book is padded out. Yeah. So they yeah. pad out. They pad out half a movie here with music videos. A bitch staring, <laughs> <Yeah>. staring. <laughs> I, 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 I hate to break it to you, but uh, this, this, this one, this part one of this movie, that's more than half the book. God damn, that's, that's more like three quarters, <laughs> if not more, of the book. More so, than the music. So, so the padding they're gonna have to do on the next one, oh, I can't geez. even imagine. God, they're gonna do a musical damn, number or I mean, something, <laughs> like something cool. Christian, I mean, even more than the music video parts. There's a part where they just, Christian Stewart is just looking goddamn retarded the way she's staring. It's, I wish you know what would make this movie really great if they go back and CG in some drool coming down the belly of her mouth, so she can look like she's retarded on the bottom eyes. That would actually make more sense. I, I figure it'd be better if uh, Bella walks in on Edward and, and old Jacob fucking each other. <laughs> and here's Finally the, getting down the nitty gritty. And if there's any bigger crime than splitting this movie up into two parts where it really didn't need to be, the bigger crime is that they... Fuck, I just forgot what I... It, it was something. <laughs> it was so what enraged. Else are you going to say? <laughs> you went into a blackout. What I really need to tell y'all, which, oh my, what you don't notice is... Uh, oh my God, I really did blackout. No, that was something. <laughs> well, I love actually describing at one point to somebody. He's like, I don't care. Just spoil it for me the ending of the of the yeah. movie. Oh, and no, that's look what, at me and oh, they go... It. No, seriously. Well, how did it really end? It's like, no, I, I'm totally not kidding. It's like, well, yeah, but it was cool, right? They did a thing. No, it, no, it looked like, cool you know, in movies when people run across to like the field with like soft Olin Mills lighting and like they go back and forth till they hug. It was like that for like five minutes as a hallucination to this guy or- Orville, dreaming Red about commercial. a baby. Well, th- well, <laughs> well, think about this. Is He's that, re- fuck that re- baby. before this movie Sorry came out, know. think about what people told you. They said, okay. I know you guys think that this 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 book is shit and this movie theory this this movie series is shit, but think, man, you're not gonna believe what they're gonna do in that last movie. Uh, 
uh, Edward has sex with Bella and breaks her be- ribs and just beats her up during the middle of it. She, he has to like bite her vagina in order for this baby to be born. Otherwise, she's going to explode out of her. And when she's born, that little baby born is a girl. And Jacob wants to have sex with the baby. Man, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a David Cronenberg movie. <laughs> and you look at the movie like, how the fuck did they make all that the most boring thing I've ever seen? <laughs> yeah. I know. I mean, you, you wonder, like, how are they going to do this? And when you see how they do it, you go like, oh. The most tedious way imaginable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 David Cronenberg was like going, damn, I'm, damn, I'm actually yeah. pretty good at what I do. <laughs> David Cronenberg like, why don't y'all call me? I could have made this shit so You know what I hate about that the most, though, is that now it's given Hollywood that that idea of splitting like all these popular yep. books. The last book to get every, to squeeze every goddamn yeah. time out of it. They're going to split up to two, like they're doing with the Hunger Games now. I'm like, oh, boy, thanks. Yeah, yeah. whatever. All right. Anyway. Thanks, Harry Potter. Yeah. Let's go to, uh, I guess I'm on, am I on number seven You're now? on number seven. Number seven, Zookeeper. Yeah. In addition to every what everybody just said, the other thing that makes me, it must be really cool to be Adam Sandler. You get to take vacations in the guise of a shitty film. And whenever your friends come over, they say, hey, man, you need some money? Let me write this script up on this piece of toilet paper right yeah. here and make you a movie go, go for it. Make, make a full movie for you. Oh, Kevin, come on in. Yeah, get some barbecue. Yeah. Hey, look, man, <clears throat> you and I, buds, I got this movie Zookeeper I want you to go make. Yeah, it is. It, it, come on, man. We got to hang out. We'll go, you know, get to like make out with hot chicks. Yeah, it's just nothing. This, this is some money in your pocket. Who cares? But what about the audience? Fuck the audience. Let's make some money. You know, that's, you know, you know I see it more like. But you know what? You saying point. that, though? You they, saying they that, though? They will come see anything I do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I see it more like. <laughs> well, pretty funny funny what, about, what about the audience? And then there's just this moment of silence. And then they both go. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, though? You know what, though? You saying that, Corey, all that makes me think is. Wow, I have really like, I have really poor judgment in selecting my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, look, or the comedians Adam you Sandler, think are funny. <laughs> can I be your buddy? I support you, pal. Hey, man. <laughs> He's a good person to be friends with because he'll put you in his movie and and make you a star and then it comes get you laid. Where and... He's like, all right, it's been six months, so let's let's make the movie you want to make. What you got? I don't have anything. Well, I'll tell you what. I got a drawer full of scripts that I never made. <laughs> Go make this one. Yeah, this Funky great. Larson. This, this seems like... You scripts. really are... You, you, <laughs> Boy, you are being mighty grace, gracious there with that statement. I've got a drawer full of material here. <laughs> I think it's more like... Oh, you need some money here? Let me go to this wastebasket in the bathroom and pick out one of these toilets in the stuff. Pick, 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 reach in there and get one of these scripts out of there for you to, to, to yeah. film real script quick. too well, shitty even for Sam well, Sandler. Well, consider this. Right. Just go with it was the one that he thought was just for him. <laughs> so the ones he's going to give the other people are even worse oh, than that. Oh, but we're not done. Miss, miss, uh, by the way, Adam Sandler, I'm just doing this because, you know, we have to. <laughs> you know, I, I, I got to put up an appearance for this whole. It's all for comedy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, not, I'm not really like that. Hey, man, call me, okay? It's, it's, uh, we're sure. Sure, you're a really nice guy, but stop making these really fucking awful films. <laughs> hey, hey, I didn't hey, say that. No, no, no. <laughs> he, might, he might like Corey animate the shadows on Eight Crazy Nights. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You even touch a frame of that. It's like staring at into the arc and. <laughs> yeah, so like, I, I don't know and, you no more. Yeah, Adam, Raiders I was just doing arc. my job talking about your movies. They're they're going too far. I'm not saying this. Adam, stuff. I would kill to turn the page on your animated feature. <laughs> yes, I would too. You so. hated Eight Crazy Nights. Don't even start with me. Uh, you see that Blu-ray over there? That's <laughs> I, I got the perfect script for you. <laughs> Stop Let's looking at me, uh, Swan. <laughs> Man, then go to. <laughs> Let's go to number six. Number six. Number six is Sucker Punch. Yeah. I, I, I really, I despise this movie because, and I almost, I was almost gonna put it as an honorable mention because it's the movies that I kind of like were. You see something on the screen, and from the first ten minutes, it's just beautiful how bad this movie is. That's I how mean, I felt watching it this weekend. <laughs> I, I'm like, man, this this is a movie. Unlike an Adam Sandler movie, where you know it's just them not trying. This is a guy that tried. I mean, he put everything into this movie right here, and it still ain't shit. And, <laughs> you know what? And that was the thing with Southland Tales. Why I couldn't stop watching it because you, I'm like. This is the worst piece of shit I've ever seen, but he's trying. He believes in this. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that, no. that's the heartbreaking part about it. <laughs> no, you want to pat him on the back and go, hey, buddy, sorry, man, but just leave the shit alone. Zack Snyder, this is yet a, another case of somebody, you can tell, who was probably kind of a geeky kid, whether openly or keeping it to themselves. Or, yeah, this is a guy who had this idea since he was a teenager. I would give him like 16 years old, 15 years old. 
man, anime, robots, hot chicks, and Dragon, hot pants, and, red and one lingerie. Many, read one too many heavy metal magazines. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and watch too much anime. Yeah. And, and, and then he thought that everything that was visual in that movie was going to be able to carry it on. And then he thought, well, I got to put a story in there. Let's put this really strong message about feminism. But he forgot to to remember that you can't really do a strong message about feminism when your girls are going around wearing lingerie, shooting guns, and not doing anything else. Yeah. You know, I, I, I always yeah. thought you can't do a strong uh, story about feminism if you're a fucking man. <laughs> I mean, I oh, you can. I that's, not, can. that's not you true. Can. You can. But, oh, really? But, yeah, I mean, Tell me the, how, guys. The case in here is like, <laughs> the, what in this is supposed to be feminist? And people go, well, they're strong women. I was like, you understand that term doesn't mean they physically have muscles, right? Like to say, oh, it's a strong woman. It's like, <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> a, make A chick with a gun <laughs> is not a strong feminist. Yeah, it's, it's like the only books he ever read were written by Frank Miller. So yeah. he's like, oh well, clearly he knows strong women because you, you, yeah, you make them muscular and, and they're they're so tough they can dress like hookers or be hookers and still kick a man's ass. And when it's you understand like, that every nice. time that the main character goes into one of her little hallucination trances, it's because she's being raped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> that was her hey, like you know dealing with that in her brain. Now what is feminist about hey, this movie? Hey, call me the asshole. I, I that's what I always thought it meant. But hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this this is it's, it's such a it, it, if it weren't for that, I would like use this as an honorable mention because this is the kind of bad movie I'm just fascinated by. This is the kind of bad movie I will watch over and over again because I like to dissect how bad it is. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I enjoy these kind of movies, but because... Are you putting this on a showgirls level? Is that what you're well, telling us? Uh, man, there's... Some, come on, man. They, I, I wish I, it was I, like showgirls. I watch <laughs> more bad movies sometimes than I watch good movies as far as watching them at home and putting them on oh, over right. and over They're again. Fascinating. I, I'm fascinated. I really think there's a lot to be learned and, and there's some entertainment value to certain bad films, but this movie, it even that debases itself on that level by just thinking like a young geek does, where they think like a, the a, the image of a strong woman is not their ability to come up by using their skills, their talents, or their mind. It's oh, let's put a gun in their hand and have them shoot it. Oh, and let's put them in a bikini. That's one of those movies where I always wanted to like. Hopefully, either either Leon or, or or Cyrus would own it. Um, borrow it just so I can hear the commentary to actually like hear like what was going on in his head while he was shooting the movie. And actually, like ho- hopefully, you can hear his reasonings why he he thought. You know what the commentary for this movie is? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> seriously. Oh yeah, yeah. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, uh, you, you guys can keep the yeah. You guys keep that. Uh, that's a good point. Not even talking about how you know. And this is just me as like a like a huge music uh, a fan. The soundtrack was so terrible. To this oh, it was movie. atrocious. It was yeah. all covers done by the worst, most generic, like D-list guys you get to do video game like soundtrack yeah. stuff of like you know really great songs. Awful cover versions. Yeah. Artists, played artists, it, like, featured, super, artists featured at Hot Topics yeah, type of Yeah, played it like, super yeah. high volumes and like, oh, come on, yeah. please do not. This is disgusting. Yeah, hearing hearing somebody do, I mean, just, just hearing Bjork during that one oh, right. scene. Yeah, no, it's, go, a, uh, it's a terrible soundtrack. Let me move on here. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I'm at number five. I guess. Christ, yeah. are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. We're at the halfway point, gentlemen. <laughs> I know. Uh, you know, we, we, like, that's why I tell you, you guys, got to move on. Yeah, because oh. Corey's list is going to take a long yeah. time. That's uh, why we had to yeah, move on. I'll, I'll go past this real quick. Uh, Red Riding Hood and Beastly, they're tie, actually. Right. So we're getting f- uh, five and four right there. Ooh. Okay. Uh, th- those are, the reason why those movies are terrible to me is because, besides just being bad movies, is that Twilight's already bad enough. You got two movies that are trying to mimic Twilight in a certain way. You know? mm-hmm. I mean, Riding on, on the coattail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. still theorize they were only made to make people go, oh, Twilight ain't that bad. <laughs> That's the only and, reason they made And those. they are much worse than Twilight. <laughs> this, but this is a well, – I mean, we, we say what you will about The Hunger Games, but The, the Hunger Games is, is a sincere attempt at trying to cash in from, from sincere material, at trying to give that tween and teen and young adult – female audience what they want these movies were just made to write off somebody else's prop pop or another property's popularity uh, red riding hood of course is a retelling of re- little red riding hood but it's done in that edgy way uh, and, and shot at a renaissance festival yeah but oh, it's, yeah. it's done that edgy way of giving you the, the heroine is supposed to be stronger they got a bunch of handsome guys for her to have a love interest triangle with it's 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 it's, it's very blatant what it's trying to do and beastly is almost the same kind of thing where 
Twilight takes horror and tries to work it around into some teen romance fascination. These take fairy tales and try to do it, and, and it doesn't work. And we're actually seeing people do this with fairy tales in a much better way, and we probably will see people doing it better in a much I better can't way in the wait. future. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I can't, wait, to, I can't yeah. wait for this one. Let's go to see all those intense Snow White yes, and the Huntsman right around so the corner. So much material. <laughs> Yet another Snow White film coming up at you quick. <laughs> let's let's go to uh, let's go to number two, which is New Year's Eve. And I know, and I was almost going to keep this off the list because I was. I, I'm actually surprised that made it to your list. Yeah, well, I was. Especially I was. I was, I was so high on the list. Well, I was. I was going to take it off, but then I remembered. Man, I walked out of that movie. Some movies are forgettable, and I let it slide. And that's a movie I don't remember shit about that film. <laughs> and also. It's another movie where I take points off when you bring people into a movie that's bad, and these people that you bring into are actors, whether they've sold out or not. I know we live in a different time, but the fact that you just made them look like shit and didn't give them anything to do. Robert De Niro in this movie is just, I mean, this guy is a, he's, he's a prop. A, yeah. He, yeah, exactly. I mean, this guy has nothing to do in this movie but look in the bed and say, hey. you know, so I'm. I, to me, that's kind of offensive, right? And, there. and I hated the fact that they put in a scene in the trailer right. that didn't even end up in the movie. Where I was like, that scene actually had more heart than that entire movie did, as and, far as what they were trying to get across. Where I'm like, okay, you guys just made the shittiest Hallmark movie ever. And what and what's so bad about <laughs> that movie leads up to another movie that we have coming up pretty soon. But right before we get to number one, we got number two. You just said that one. I'm sorry. That was that was number two. That was number that was number three. I'm okay. sorry. Number two is, and I don't think anybody. Well, actually, you saw this with me, and okay. you don't remember it. Big mamas, like father, oh, like Jesus. son. I oh, missed that. I, I didn't one. see that. I, I did that not see too. that with you. Who did nobody see this with no, me? I did not see that. No, with you. Okay, you on your own. That's so the one with like, uh, Brandon T. What's his name? Uh, I know the guy that played the goat kid in Percy Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid I suddenly came down with an illness that yeah. day. And you know, <laughs> I wanted to see that. So maybe, yeah, maybe I was. You did? Because I, you know, are why you would me? you want to see that? That is like that is why that is why I have so much fun going with Corey to these goddamn midnight movie madness marathons because. We get to see some crazy, atrocious shit like I that. I had sometimes. nobody to watch that movie yeah. with, and when you don't, <laughs> the fun is taken all out of it. Yeah. I'm, that movie was so, that, and the reason why that movie is so it, Brandon T. Jackson, yeah, that movie's so bad. That movie's so bad. There's some movies that are bad, but they they try to cover it up with something that they can, some sort of good cinematography. Maybe you got an actor in there that can carry it, or you know that the money can afford some kind of gloss over this. This is one of the cheapest looking pieces of shit that came out in 2011. I mean, it looks cheap. And I haven't seen a lot of the movies out there that are bad, but on the list, this is one of those films that this is the cheapest looking film on there. Could you see the zipper in the back of Martin Lawrence's fat suit? Oh, you know, <laughs> there was And it's not, maybe the money was there, but they film a movie like this so quick. I mean, it's almost like the, even the people who made it it was an afterthought for them. Let's just see if there's some more life left in his well, fat suit. I'm sure they probably didn't even think they could get Martin Lawrence's, even with as low as his heat is set, set at right now. Oh, yeah. It's like, they're like, well, we're going to make it with somebody. I don't care who it is. <laughs> yeah. We need that guy yeah. from Paddy Rock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, they had, still do it. Yeah, I was like, did they have to go like get the crocodile hunter, whoever the new crocodile hunter is, to go look for that guy when he's like in his crazy mode and tranquilize him to right. get him to star in a movie? <laughs> oh, and this is it's so, it's filmed so flat because it looks like it's filmed so bad it's yeah. it's almost like somebody had got the ball rolling on it and maybe they spent a little bit of money and the studio said fuck we're invested now let's, it, just, it, it, let's go ahead and finish it all right is it a tyler perry we, type yeah look? we 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 put money in that fat suit go ahead is it a tyler perry type look it's where it's like you could tell it's it's you know it has a yeah okay yeah it is but it's but cheap yeah. you know tyler perry if all tyler perry just i tyler perry just i don't think is that strong of a director right. where with this they didn't I, nobody it felt, it felt like shit. nobody directed yeah, this. I always feel that know? watching Tyler Perry's stuff, that he does actually care. I just don't think his sense of humor is very. That's funny, the thing about he's it. Not he a terribly good writer talent or talent director. Tyler exactly. Perry, he's getting yeah. better, but it's in small baby. Style. Tyler Perry movies, what they what, <laughs> imperceptibly. what they have for them is that Tyler Perry. There is something about this. There, it's Tyler Perry. He wants that movie to be good, whether it's good or right. not. Yeah, and 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 on top of that. It's you, you can see the effort in some parts, yeah. and 
furthermore, there's some entertainment in those flat characters. Mm. Those, oh, those, wait, those, wait, wait, do you have an audition with Tyler Perry? I, I do, <laughs> next week, so don't fuck this yeah, up for me. But stuff like <laughs> you're talking about. Like and I got, a, I got one for the next Big Mama movie, too, <laughs> yeah, so I should be The Big quiet. Mama thing is nothing but a blatant but, guy. But, but yeah. the Big Mama thing, where it's like Tyler Perry has characters in there that are so far-fetched and, and so stereotypical that you can't help but get some some entertainment out of those characters. This this is flat. This is just something. This this is a, this is a vehicle for for Martin Lawrence that his agent thought that he could get done for him. But somebody, but everybody else around him didn't give a shit. It's yeah. feeling flat. The characters don't they don't mean anything. And this is a movie where this should this is this is a straight to DVD sequel. But because somebody thought Martin Lawrence still had enough name to carry it. That's why I got a theatrical release. They but thought Leon was going to go see it. <laughs> no, they thought Corey was going to go see it. And guess what? They were right. God damn it. You, you walk into the theater at midnight and say, oh, Mr. Coleman, you've arrived. Yeah. <laughs> you can start the film now. Yes, sir. <laughs> here's, your, here's your chicken McNuggets. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like your good friend Leon just showed up. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, the number one movie. Here it comes. And co-host. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to help you here, brother. I'm trying to help you. Can anyone guess what the number one movie it's Jack is? Jack and Jill. It is Jack and Jack Jill. And Jill yeah. Jack and Jill, out of every Adam Sandler movie that I've seen, this is probably the most cynical that I've seen Adam Sandler, where not only is it just Adam Sandler, again, I mean, this is one of the most... Sh- this is the one where Adam Sandler, I just saw him spread his ass cheeks and literally shit this script out. And... Somehow he thought that <laughs> Carlos Stephen uh, thinks that's entertaining. He's like, yeah, Adam Sandler. It was now like, you were there. I'm picturing he, him right he, now he doing human that. Human centipede. In that <laughs> shit. Yes, he did. Oh, he did. He he, he <laughs> shit it out, and then he the, the person that was connected to his ass was him dressed up as a woman. Exactly. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then probably Kevin James in the back. And Kevin James <laughs> oh, was the third person. I'm writing this script right now. <laughs> Followed by every Adam other Sandler goddamn. Made yeah, yeah, and, and Rob uh, <laughs> Rob Schneider. Rob, Rob Schneider. Schneider. Yeah, yeah, this is the yeah. yeah man, this, <laughs> yeah, man, this movie, it's bad enough that we have a film that's full of nothing but physical humor and bathroom humor and shit jokes, but really, we got to go to that cheap old joke of Adam Sandler dressing up as a woman and acting alongside of himself. Does his does this man have no shame Look at all? Look how annoying my sister is because she's so fat and Jewish. <laughs> That's that's the one joke right there. Yeah, fat and Jewish. I mean, the moment I'm, I was like you, the moment that she yells in a fat Jewish voice, I I'm gonna make a Hershey squirt. I'm <laughs> fuck it. Oh, I'm wow, out of here. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, man, this is bullshit. <laughs> and Cole sitting back there giggling the whole time. Now that just brings me. Doesn't that make you mad? I think when I, I walked out, it was like exactly bad. the hour mark. Like the exa- I was watching my watch. I was kept checking. I was like, I'm gonna last one hour because I always say I give a movie an hour, and it was on the dot. And I stood up and I turned around. And I pointed at Cole and I said, "Fuck you." And I and this is the one where I even I even told you in the review. I was like, I thought you I'm, ran out of toilet paper. By the way. I think I, I don't know if I get that movie. Fuck you. I should have because the only the the, the the thing I was already angry watching this movie. But the thing that really got to me was the whole time watching this bullshit, and I gotta hear two seats down from me. <laughs> <laughs> Cole, sit up there just giggling at this okay, shit. Look, like, man, I, I, Al Pacino, that, Al Pacino did it for me in that but movie. I'm sorry. That's, that's what pushed me out of Zookeeper. I was already like, I can't take this. And then, yeah. and, and then this one over here, <laughs> Adam Sandler did the voice as a monkey. I'm like, really? I, you know what? This is too much. Adam Sandler, I, what do you see in that motherfucker, man? Genius. You know, I right think is for co hosts. Every no matter what Adam Sandler does, all he sees is Billy Madison. Yeah, that's he, it. He, yeah. You know what? He sees that man child that he identifies with. Yeah. He keeps he just sees us as giant penguins. Yeah. I, 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 feel, I feel like I should be like laying down. Like, like, yeah, but he, but you know the the other thing yeah. is uh, really the two things that bother me the most that I found just somewhat offensive. It's a movie where Adam Sandler in there is talking about oh. You can't make that Jewish joke. I can't because I'm Jewish. Yeah. And st- so you're going to shame yourself by putting this big ch- Jewish stereotype on the screen right. that okay just because yeah. you're Jewish Adam Sandler doesn't that doesn't make it okay to make that character. It'd be like if you redrew our characters as Sambos and and you're just like I'm black so I can do this. Yeah. Like, Really, you want to? It's almost like he's apologizing to the. Really, when I saw that, I was like, "You are literally 
it's almost like you went back and reshot some scenes after you saw the final cut of this movie and said, fuck, what have I done? But I got to put the movie out. Let me shoot some scenes where I say, it's okay for me to make this joke because I'm Jewish. But no, you don't get by that easy, well, man. Well, that's because, all right, so it's okay to do a one-off type of it. Like, even if, like, you know, you're doing something with you 2 and, like, uh, the Sambo joke. It's okay if it's a joke that is self-reflexive like yeah. that, right? You're like, okay, fine. But if we were just from now on, that's how you guys are portrayed. Right. There's nothing <laughs> funny about that. <laughs> Fuck, and man. there's nothing funny about him about playing that. this loud, obnoxious, <laughs> like ridiculously <laughs> hateful Jewish. And they try to make us feel sympathy for this hateful character. I mean, this character has no regard for anybody else around us. So all of a sudden, we're supposed to like, oh, feel bad for her because she's ignorant. No, and it's, she cares okay, about her family. She's Shut loud. Up. She's loud and and you know she she's loud and Jewy by the way. She just screeches everything. Oh, I you don't treat your sister like this. But you got to go and make a fart all over the place and nasty and sweating when she's Seriously, lying in bed right? and, and it was like, bad call- enough that the blu-ray call- special edition they called the swastika edition <laughs> <laughs> yeah the movie could just be simply named self-hating jew it's, 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 like i gotta i gotta add my game <laughs> in germany it's just called mein Kampf. <laughs> somewhere in brazil there's a, there's a 95 year old hitler watching going see i told ah. you <laughs> You're right, that, believe me it was it's ridiculously hateful and offensive. This oh, it, 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 oh, man. man, it blew my mind. It blew my mind. I never had my mind blown ever since Adam Sandler, even though one is Jewish. But it, when I watch Eight Crazy Nights oh, yeah. and I say, who Ugh. who do you think is going to like this annoying character? That's the only movie I think that he's done that's worse than Jack and Jill was Eight Crazy Nights. He never fucking learns. He does so many voices. There are three characters that people have shunned because they just by voice alone. Eight Crazy Nights. Little Nicky, Little Nicky, and now this character here, this one, the Razzie, even though they overlooked Sucker Punch, this one, the Bucky Razzie, Larson. I, 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 I totally see that. I mean, yeah. you know, don't, don't even, don't need to even mention Sucker Punch because Jack and Jill had it. I despised Jack and Jill when I had it. Leave when, him I, alone. when I saw it. <laughs> yeah. So let's go to some honorable mentions that I have right here. <laughs> oh God, there's more. No, I'll go, I'll go through them real quick. Don't worry about it. Do all you guys have honorable mentions? No, no, no I have oh, no. Okay. There's just so many bad movies out there. Uh-huh. Cars two, we already talked about. Okay. Needless to say, that's a movie where the first time we saw that. Pixar got a check and didn't give a fuck. Oh, yeah. It was like, wow, they finally got to you. Yep. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. I mean, that was John Lasseter's pet project. Maybe he did. That was his passion project. Yeah. yeah. That's true, but you got me, man. Sometimes passion is blinding. I, it's, exactly. So yeah. it's, it's, it's like when somebody is dating a, a woman who's a gold digger and all their friends can see it, but it's like, I love her, man. I just... I, I just I just can't do enough for her. And you're like, yeah. wow, you don't you really don't see what's going on. Pixar mm-hmm. has so much power and so much money now. You got two lessons to learn from. Cars two about being able to do everything you want to do, and John, John Carter. Carter. Yeah, mm-hmm. you come return to your humbleness, Pixar. Learn 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 the word learn the power of the word no. <laughs> and we have Transformers now. Why trans? I, I'm, I do this as a, as an honorable mention because. There is an yeah I, I'll I'll tell you I have no shame about it. There is an amazing last part to this movie that I love. I thought just from a visual standpoint it blew my mind. But the rest of the movie I just thought was that the comedy in here is offensive and not offensive from some sort of race or gender point of view. It's just fucking bad. It's what I've hated about it's childish about all of Michael Bay's movies after The Rock is like with Armageddon. That that was what what really made me hate. And just angry about that movie is that 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 overbearing boorish frat boy sense of humor where it's like okay you're, you're trying to be shocking and it's not working at all you think it was trying to be shocking because what i thought was the humor in it is just so slapdash and so childish and so and so juvenile if you it, michael it, bay it, it's like a grown man trying to be juvenile like all the stuff he does with king jong that just that just goes way too far yeah i mean michael bay I'm, 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 I, and I do find Michael Bay offensive in certain way in certain ways when it comes to certain stereotypes. I mean, a lot of people didn't say anything after that whole that whole after that the aftermath of the Negro bots from the last movie, right. mm-hmm. which is I don't think Michael Bay is a racist, but you're just fucking stupid sometimes. Uh, after seeing that, I thought people should have been more irritated by the gay character that they had in this movie the guy who's so gay he comes out wearing floral suits <laughs> i'm like really i'm like That's man exactly but, what i want to see in a transformers you, movie <laughs> michael bay is able to slide in, and get by on these things because he 
gets these enormous budgets and I and I think he is an amazing action director and a lot of people see that and they, and they lose sight of the fact that if you take all of the juvenile humor that he puts in these movies and if you were to put it in a sitcom people would say and take out all the effects and everything people say wow this is the worst thing I've ever seen but people they get blinded by all the money that's put into these movies so while I think that there's some amazing things in in this film it, it is a terrible film I mean I'm and I'm sorry people who buy this bullshit because they're bought into all the glitz and glamour of the budget and think that is great but they budget in the last yeah, one strip it down that. man yeah. Hey, look, look, they, yeah. they got a room full of expensive toys they ain't about to face reality at this point I mean, yeah. as terrible as that movie is it was the one I hated the least the first one I was just bored by and the action you couldn't tell what was going on yeah. so it was like fuck it just looks like a like a car crusher you know I couldn't tell who was who and who beat who and it was just it was like it was even that much more dull in the action scene I'm, I'm convinced the second that, yeah. one was I'm just offensive. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> and it the was, third yeah. one, like I said, it's dumb, but you're right. There are some action scenes towards the end that was like, okay, well, at least I can kind of tell what's happening. And there was some neat stuff that they did. But every time they started to win me back, they go back to Shia LaBeouf saying something that was so incredibly ignorant and badly written yeah. and performed. You'd be like, all LaBeouf. right, fuck this. Come on. And, and people who on Coke. I mean, that, yeah. that's all that movie was. Or John Turturro, like playing even more of a jackass than yeah. he did in oh, the first yeah. two or yeah. Leonard Nimoy going the needs of the many outweigh the needs oh, of the that few that was just offensive it was oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's right you yeah. know and, and the sad thing is I, I completely forgot that he was in that movie yeah, yeah. Well, and, and, well, and you know what because that's what that's what happens that all these characters are not put to any use they are they are props for the special effects to use. Very the, true. the special effects are the actors, oh, the yeah. characters are the, are the real humans. They're just props for those special effects. And yeah, it's 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 terrible. And, and for people, I don't hate Michael Bay. I was disappointed when I found out that Michael Bay was not directing the Ninja Turtles. That he there was a, that the guy who directed Wrath of the Titans is doing that because I thought for all the juvenile humor and the great action. Man, he'd be perfect for the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> right. Well, I, I think he'd be perfect at destroying more, you know, ch- you know, childhood dreams. And shit. <laughs> well, ch- you know. well some, some people say that he is. And now, when they get to the Ninja Turtles, that's when people are like, hey, wait a minute. Oh, you didn't th- you didn't oh, say yeah, for Transformers? Yeah, you didn't say that, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But fuck all you Ninja Turtles fans. I like this movie even more because y'all was sitting up here talking about Transformers is great. I, I fuck you. Wait till he does a He-Man movie. Hey, don't don't don't, don't, don't do that. I'll don't, kill everyone don't, in this room. I'm still <laughs> pissed about battleships. So don't yeah. Even talk about <laughs> yeah. Um. And then we and get that, to uh, Mars Needs Moms uh, because that movie is th- – that really is the point where we saw Robert Zemeckis just going crazy with this motion capture technology. And, and that is the and – I, and I should actually thank this movie because that's the one where I think he finally woke up, woke up and said, wow, my – 3D animated movies really are scary looking. <laughs> so you know, no, no kids went to go see this film. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's fucking interested in how realistic you're trying to make 3D animation. Robert Zemeckis, yeah. go back to like directing a live action movie. Go back to doing something clever. Don't worry about making looking look. Don't make. Don't worry about making it look realistic. He did so great with animation and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah. You know. Well, d- well, even beyond the animation, the script was on the level of. Planet Fifty One. Yeah, that, that I mean, was a Disney movie, right? Yeah. Okay, and that, okay, and then that means that that movie was was the fucking turd in the punch bowl that you know John Carter had to remove John <laughs> right, Carter Mars. from Mars because of that movie right. because they were just like, oh wow, you know that uh, Mars needs moms. That movie did so fucking piss poorly that. Let's not remind anybody yeah. by leave, leaving the Mars title in John Carter. Yeah. I mean, that's and, sad. And I think that that was one of their biggest bombs to date up until John Carter came up. Ooh. $150 million is what it took to make that movie. The movie opened up like at fifth, sixth, seventh place when it came out. So it was a huge bomb. Kids, I, I don't think kids are interested in Robert Zemeckis' CG animated movies. You know, go tell a story with with character designs that people want to see you know if you want to keep the experiment to yourself until it's actually working at least that's what i feel about it. i was really tired of seeing this kind of animation out there yeah and uh finally i have shark night shark night oh, is on an honorable, honorable mention because that is the movie that is so bad that it was that i found it funny it's funny like uh, some of our friends like brian salisbury and some of that crew they actually really like that movie in that same way but they really genuinely like it and i was like kind of excited to see it then i was like ah cory and coast don't know what they're talking about i'm gonna see this i'll probably like it no you guys are right it's a really bad it movie shit. yeah There's i mean nothing I, special about it at i completely all. forgot about it, it yeah. would be on my that, that would be an honorable mention for me too because that is the type of movie that you know it's like wow even if you attempted to make a bad shark movie like and, and even in the vein of 
like a piranha. At least you're trying to do something where they didn't do shit with that no, movie. That movie looked like dull. it looked like it looked like somebody just found some some fucking cut clips from another bad shark movie and just pieced it all together. That's how badly but put me, together it was. For me, I there's a couple of reasons why I found it funny. One, it. That is a movie where I'm fascinated by how bad it is. It's just I, I, will, I look at it and I wonder how this even got made. Mm-hmm. And I can watch it over and over again, dissecting all the bad parts of it. The other thing I like about it is how many people walked in, in, into the theater thinking it was part of Shark Week yeah. on, a, <laughs> on the Discovery right. Channel. You it, know? Bamboo, it bamboozled everyone. Yeah. That promo- I was like, I swear to God, I, I could have sworn that you know on that poster it said part of Shark Week or something. And then I, I looked up and I was like, Where'd that fucking thing go? It was it was like paranormal activity was going on with that poster. I was like, what? what? I thought it was part of the shark. Week. Which makes you wonder because with lately, like they've been doing lots of IMAX 3D like nature documentaries. Yeah. Well, fuck, man, you think Discovery Channel get in on that shit? Be like, all right, we've been saving up the best of people getting their shit fucked up by sharks for Shark Week the movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no shit. I'd pay to go see that. Well, some people and thought they were, somebody's yeah. gonna have to hold but, my but, hand. You know what? That's what everyone thought. That's what yeah. everyone. Some people least, thought they were paying thought. to see that, and yeah. guess what? Nope. So. <laughs> Before we end here, we have one more category. Oh, well. people, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce a lifetime achievement award okay. for the worst of Adam Sandler, Kate his, Hudson. <laughs> his name has been mentioned in relation to four movies in this podcast alone. <laughs> he has never ceased to amaze us with his annoyance, but yet somehow has managed to still make one movie after another. <laughs> As a tax write-off, as a vacation, as a favor to a friend. I don't think you're going to get a unanimous vote on this. We, it, it's I, not based. I, I, I'm it, with you, but it's not yeah. based on a vote. It's based on what this person has earned. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the lifetime achievement award goes to Adam Sandler. Yes, yes. <laughs> this year, oh um, yes, the co-host is giving a standing up ovation right there. Yes. He doesn't even have legs. Yeah. Somehow he's standing up. Give <laughs> the award to him. Can I use that on? Unfortunately, Mr. Sandler couldn't be here tonight. But it feels like he has been here all along this evening because in this podcast alone, his name has been mentioned in either starring in or in being related to four movies alone. Those he four movies, four, <laughs> yeah, four movies. Bucky Larson, Zookeeper, just go with it, and of course, Jack and Jill. A lot of people don't even recognize his greatness right here. You know, he's he's like a workaholic at a shit factory. Yes, Damn. yes. <laughs> and for that work ethic That's that he has right there, we give Adam Sandler the Spill.com Worst of a Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> I'm, glad, well, I, I'm glad I got my Sharpie because I just wrote down the funniest man alive. <laughs> you like, I didn't even get that right now. You're like, I don't know if it's going to be unanimous. And I look like, oh, yeah, this motherfucker yeah. here. Oh, mean, I don't know if. <laughs> That's a kind way of saying this dumbass over here still likes Adam Sandler. Oh, and by the way, uh, I, I, I was going to try to stop you there uh cory because i did have an, an honorable mention that oh you I do actually did yeah um and i actually have um harry potter and the shitty hollows part one you from you hell can't, you can't even sell that to you yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nobody hey, believes hey, i'll sell you. it to him <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah because he'll buy anything that yeah. comes along apparently and, and so will you that he puts out there <laughs> so anyway people uh, that has been now, what is this? The 98th? <laughs> Chill.com. <laughs> Worst of awards. Yeah. Yes. So these are uh, all the 2010. movies. 2010. <laughs> so, so while you're, while you're, I guess not, when you, while you're going out to your red box or on Netflix, these are the movies that you should not even take a second glance at. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> all right, people. We got to get out of here. Alfonso Rivera is pulling up with my car right now. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thank Good night, everyone. Good Thank, night, you. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you.